I think it's interesting to see which ones <laughs> everybody, <laughs> people that we've ended up with, yeah. you know, kind of thing. Eroticism. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the good ones. Fuck you know, man. Rebellion and eroticism. <clears throat> well, I mean, I mean, uh, jazz. This could be my CV. <laughs> 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 I suppose th- it's a complete part of your being, sir. So. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 it uh, I pr- it probably. You're the funk man. You know? I got it, but I got, it's always something I always get. If, if I get too close to something that's too erotic, I always get a bit like, "Whoa, you know, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, fuck," you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> it's true, um, but I think since I've been in this band, Brian Morco being the king of eroticism and the kind of o- open-minded about, about that subject, sort of. Help me open up into that and just see see lots of different elements and aspects to it. And uh, and I, I think since I've been hanging out with these boys, I, I appreciate. I mean, the word eroticism and and the whole aspect of it greater than I did ten years ago. Excellent. <laughs> um, you got? London. <laughs> <laughs> Mary fucking Poppins. Mary Poppins. Cup, Cup O.T. T. Shit food. London. London. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's there we go. Fuck no. <laughs> Ah. David Bowie. David Bowie. Fashion. Let's <laughs> <coughs> try it. Kitsch. Kitsch. He's your godfather for you, or a friend. Well, an uncle. He, uh, an uncle, yeah. <laughs> An old uncle. Yeah. And I'm mean, boring mysteries. No. <laughs> He's an auntie, actually. An auntie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. James David. Aunt, auntie David. <laughs> really. And uh, now, actually, quite looking back at it now, it's quite incredible, actually, how we, um, he took us on tour with him before we even had our first album out, before we even recorded our first album. He just heard, got the demo, I think Nancy Boy on it, and he was just blown away by that, by that song. And, he just called us up, and we just couldn't believe it. You know, we got played in front of two hundred <coughs> people, played for about eight thousand people literally every night. You know, due to David. So yeah, he was very much a, a supporter in the you know, the days yeah. of the band, and we toured with him. And it's strange to to meet you, uh, s- somebody that was your icon when you were, when you were a teenager. Well, it's kind of less of an icon. I mean, it, we're not being assholes here or anything, you know, but kind of thing with people because we did this record with Bowie, and, you know, it kind of creates this image that we were like obsessed with Bowie and only <laughs> Bowie when we were young. You know, of course, we like Bowie's records and always have done, but, you know, he's one of many um, mm. people that we've admired. You know, he wasn't the one great um, major influence on, on on our music, I'd say. You know, we, we're not like the, you know, the next in line or something like that. You know, it's just a very, very important songwriter, you know, that we've always admired, you know. Um, it's the important the thing that, that brings us very close is the relationship that we have with them that makes it kind of special you know but Robert Smith and Ian McCulloch and people like that I think we're even more obsessed Sorry. with Bowie as kids you know than, than we probably were <laughs>